Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you and tell you how to use Windows keyboard shortcuts. The specific Windows keyboard shortcuts that I'm going to be talking about are copy, paste, and select all. So that's right, how to copy, how to paste, how to select all on a Windows keyboard, just sort of like this one right here. Now this is actually a Chromebook, just so you know, just for full disclosure, uh, but I use a Windows uh, laptop. This is my kid's Chromebook that we got for them to use for school stuff and research and stuff like that so they can all share a laptop. Um, but I basically, this was available and I'm using my laptop right now, so I decided to use this one for the video. So although this is a Chromebook, these are the shortcuts that you can use on a Windows keyboard, okay? So essentially, first and foremost, what are the shortcuts? I'm going to show you what the shortcuts are and for those three things and then I'm going to tell you what each of them does, okay? Just to fully clarify. So copy. To copy with a Windows keyboard shortcut is Control C. When I say Control C, what I mean by that is you hold down the control button and then you push C. So hold control and then tap C and that will allow you to copy. So hold control and then tap C, just like that. That's how you copy, okay? Now, paste is another Windows keyboard shortcut and that is control V. So it's the same thing, but instead of C, you're gonna hold down control, press V. So once again, hold down control, tap V. That's how to paste, okay? And select all is the same thing, but it's control A, okay? So control A, you're gonna hold down control, tap A. Once again, hold down control, tap A. That's how to select all. And as an added bonus, I'm gonna tell you a bonus one, because hopefully you stay, you stay tuned all the way to this point. It's gonna be control X. That is how to cut, control X. And I know you're like, why is it X? Well, first of all, the C, V, and X are all close together. You can see the X is here, the C is there, the V is there, and the A is close by. So I think they wanted to make it close by, but X also makes me think of a pair of scissors, right? Scissors look like an X. So that's why I think when you cut like scissors, that's why it's control X. So now that I've told you about the keyboard shortcuts and how to do them, I'll tell you what each one does. So copy. When you copy with control C, what you're doing is you're gonna select text on the screen. You're gonna hit hold control and press C, and that's gonna bring the text to your clipboard so it's ready to be pasted, but you're not removing it from the screen or from the document. So you've copied the text to your clipboard, but it still remains in the document itself, okay? When you paste, on the other hand, which is hold control and tap V, that's gonna take whatever text or whatever thing is on your clipboard and it's gonna plop it on the screen wherever your cursor is selected, okay? So it's gonna take whatever you've copied before and it's going to paste it on the screen, okay? Um, also, uh, the added bonus was cut. When you cut something, which is hold control and press X, okay? When you cut something, which is hold control and tap X, that means you're going to bring it to the clipboard, whatever you have selected, um, but it's not gonna rain on, on the screen. You're gonna remove it from the screen and bring it to the clipboard. And obviously, before you copy and, uh, and, and cut, before I copy and cut, I'm gonna select the text. So I would highlight the text on the screen. I would do control C to copy it or control X to cut it, okay? Once it's in the clipboard, whether I've copied it or cut it, I'm gonna paste it, which is control V, which is gonna plop it then on the screen, okay? And to select all, you highlight the text or, or, or sorry, you're gonna bring the cursor on the document and when you do control A, it's just gonna highlight everything on the document. Once you've highlighted everything on the document, you can then, you know, delete it, you can copy it, you can, uh, you can uh, cut it, whatever you want. So that's basically, those are the Windows keyboard shortcuts. Just to clarify, to copy is control C, to paste is control V, to select all is control A, and then to cut is control X, which was the bonus that I talked about. <clears throat> And essentially, the functionality is copying. Um, when you've selected a text, so you're gonna select the text before you copy or cut. And when you copy it, you're gonna take the text, bring it to the clipboard, but it's gonna remain on the screen. When you cut it, you're gonna take the text from the screen, it's gonna disappear from the screen, and it's gonna be on the clipboard. And when you paste it, whatever's on the clipboard is gonna get plopped on the screen, whether you've cut it or copied it before. And then to select all, when you do control A, wherever the cursor is on, whatever document the cursor is on, it's gonna select all of the text on that document, and then you can do whatever you please with it. And that's it. Those are, that is how to use Windows keyboard shortcuts, like copy, paste, and select all. In addition, I showed you the bonus of cut as well, and I told you um, how they function. In addition to the keyboard shortcuts, I told you sort of how to use them and what they do. 
And that's truly it. I hope you've enjoyed this video tutorial. If you liked the video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe. Sorry, I'm going to slow this down because I feel like I'm running out of air because I'm trying to rush the ending. But truly, I hope that you've gotten the most value from this video. You might have clicked it wondering how to just do the keyboard shortcuts, but I wanted to show you how to do the keyboard shortcuts how to use them properly, what they do, and the bonus of cutting as well, in addition to the copy, paste, and select all that the video was originally supposed to be about. So truly, I hope that you found quite a bit of value from this video tutorial. If you liked the video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.